And uh, we're angrily uh, piling through some of the stories that have made us furious today. And uh, that's what the story is with this Labour government. Everything they seem to do is infuriating. And uh, this one has really uh, got my goat, as they say. Uh, as I said before the break, Isabel, 62,801 migrants who would have been permanently barred from settling in Britain will now be allowed to stay as a result of changes to the asylum system introduced by Keir Starmer. Uh, this has been revealed in a report by the Refugee Council, uh, which reveals that uh, tens of thousands of small boat channel crossers who arrived in Britain illegally uh, will be granted asylum because Starmer scrapped the Rwanda scheme on day one of his administration. Uh, this is resulting in... Uh, do you remember Labour's pledge? Oh, we're going to stop using hotels, mm. far more hotels. This has resulted in them having to uh, rush out to find thousands of extra hotel beds for migrants they're having to be laid on uh, amid uh, an ongoing surge of unlawful arrivals. Uh, this is just one massive great humiliation for Starmer to Tia Keir and uh, his hapless But he doesn't secretary. see it that way. He doesn't see it that way. You know, and, and I was thinking about this, the numbers here. So 60, 62, what was it? 62,801. Mm -hmm. um, these are people who would have automatically been disqualified from remaining in this country un under the last government because they put in a new law saying if you come here this way by small boat, you absolutely will have no hope at all of remaining. It's a very sensible rule that. It's really easy to understand. Yep, yep. It costs nothing, that rule. Very simple for the authorities to apply. Keir Starmer, in an act of breathtaking stupidity, made it one of the first things he did was scrapping that law. So that removes a deterrent, along with removing Rwanda as a deterrent. That means there is no deterrent. And now, instead of thinking about how he's going to actually send all these people home, you know, kick them out, deport them, whatever language you want to use. As you say, he's going round asking the Home Office to put out the SOS to their hotel school go per outers to find more accommodation. And here's the absolutely ridiculous thing. There are now hotels that were used under the last government for migrants that the last government said, actually, we don't want to use hotels anymore because <laughs> voters are getting really yeah. hacked off with yeah. this. So we're going to we're going to actually get rid of the migrants. We're ending your contract with the hotel people. They then spent thousands of pounds putting the hotel back together to be a hotel because generally these migrants cause quite a lot of damage. And now the hotels are being reconverted to have migrants again. I mean, this is complete and utter insanity. Well, if, if Starmer can't spot that this is an humiliating failure for him, then there's something wrong with him upstairs. Oh, he can't, he can't spot I, it. I he think can't. that, well, it, you know, it. this is terrifying then. Uh, let's, in the past two weeks, by the way, 2,265 more migrants have sailed from France. Great. 973 pitched up on one day alone, October yeah. the 5th. Uh, that makes 27,509 so far this year, 6% up on last year and counting. Uh, meanwhile, over in EU land, uh, the uh, EU Commissioner Ursula von der Leyen uh, is proposing huge increases in migrant deportation. Even Keir's beloved EU uh, is out of step with what this government's doing. Yeah, and do you know the last time a government minister had to resign over immigration? It was actually in 2004 when a Labour minister called Beverly Hughes had oh. to resign over a, a, an immigration you scandal. The press officer one now, point, didn't you? I looked back at this immigration scandal. It was so tame. You know, th this was a kind of everyday occurrence now. It was a minor thing about a few Eastern Europeans who were fiddling their paperwork to get work visas here a handful of people. This is now happening on an industrial scale up and down this country. There are numerous businesses making a killing off the back of this. Is there any suggestion that any minister will resign? 
No, because 62,801 is now just a rounding error in this gigantic catastrophe that we're facing. Yeah, and uh, as we discussed last night, Keir Starmer, you're probably not watching, but if any of your cronies or acolytes are watching, or even if you're watching, this, unless you do something about it, will lose you the next election 100 percent why you westminster lot can't get it through your thick heads that people in this country care about this they want this solved and you shrugging your shoulders in your elite north london houses saying well it doesn't really affect us and you know there are more important issues for millions of people in this country there aren't any more important issues it is the most important issue and if you don't get to grips with it you're going to pay the price right i tell you what i don't think that there has ever been such a case in modern political times of buyer's remorse as there is amongst hundreds of thousands of people if not millions who voted for labor because they could not reward the conservatives because of their immigration betrayal so they voted for labor because they thought look conservatives mm. have let us down yeah, over yeah, immigration yeah, yeah, yeah. and now they see this lot is as yeah. bad stroke much worse yeah. And they are itching to punish this government yeah, already. Yeah, they, they will. And uh, the, the, the fact that Starmer and his gang can't see, you know, uh, as we, uh, they, they ought, to, I don't know if they privately admit this to themselves, but they should. This was not a vote for Labour. It was a vote against the Completely. Tories. And uh, much of that uh, negative feeling towards the Tories was down to the fact that they absolutely disastrously failed to tackle the migrant crisis. Uh, Starmer doesn't seem to realise that what people were hoping, as you say, was that maybe he would. Mm. Instead, he's made it, it's no mean feat, but he's made it even <laughs> worse. Unbelievable. Uh, uh, you know, it's actually quite easy to make it worse. You just do nothing. Yeah, and, yeah, and if you carry on doing that's nothing, the, that's what he's doing. Tr trust me, more people are going to come. Oh. Come one, come all.